what should I check for when buying a polo pony? Okay, so if I'm looking at buying a polo pony, number one, obviously, I'm looking to make sure that it's medically sound. But also, it depends what level you're playing at, because sometimes horses have what they call little wind balls or something like that in the front legs, that kind of stuff. You know, if you're buying an a eight- or nine-year-old horse, um, it might have a few of those little, little blemishes. But what you really need to know is, is that horse playing every weekend? Because that's your best veterinary check. Okay, so from a veterinary side, definitely have it checked out like that. But remember that the vets have to cover themselves because if they don't give you the information and then that horse is lame because of that, then you're going to hold them accountable. But do be a little bit pragmatic with the information you're given. If that horse is playing every weekend and it's got a little bit of a wind ball or something like that, man, I, I would overlook that, to be honest. It depends. If I'm buying a 200,000 rand horse, you know, a $20,000 horse, then I really, it's going to be a five or six year old without any of that. And I'm going to really, really pay attention to the vet checks. But if I'm a minus two or a minus one or a zero gold player and I'm buying a, a schoolmaster horse, you expect it to have a little bit of wear and tear. So from a medical side, um, that, that's my advice on that. But the biggest thing is buy horses that suit you. You know, don't go buying, you, you're told, oh, this is a high goal, goal horse that um, has got a bit old and you find that they're selling it because it's cooked. You know, you get it onto the field and it's a crazy bastard. You can't ride it. So buy easy horses that give you plays on the ball, that it's easy to play them. That's my biggest thing is match your ability level to the horse that you're buying. And that would be my number one advice to anybody that's buying a horse. And also, just remember also when you're buying, if you know the person you're buying from, that's great. If you don't, try and get the horse on a week's trial because sometimes you go and ride it for one day and you have to make a decision there, I'd never buy a horse like that because I can work a horse until it's absolutely calm as anything by just overworking it for four or five days before you come and try it and you think it's a very nice, simple, easy horse. You take it home, give it three days rest and it's a totally crazy animal, you know. So if you can take it home, Feed it like you're going to feed it and then try the horse over three or four days. That will give you a really good idea of what you're buying. So just be a little bit careful when you're buying horses. Number one, I'm looking at, uh, my, the, you know, is it calm and quiet and easy? That's my first thing. Secondly, I would look at a vet check. And thirdly, is it at the level I can play it? Then, you know, after that, um, you know, you're looking at, you're, if you're getting really fussy, you're going to look at all the, the kind of um, confirmation and all of that. But number one, does it have brakes? Does it have a good mouth? And is it calm and easy? That for me is my number one criterion. And if it passes those tests, then I'm looking at the vet checks and everything else. But I will not buy a horse that I haven't been able to try and know that it's, it fits me, okay? So that would be my answer to that.